Thank you for tuning in to The Philip Scott Show. My name is Danielle DeVita. I talk about all things femininity, marriage, and relationships. So today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how the genders read each other. I'm pretty sure a man could tell you a lot more about how uh, men read women. So I'm going to um, dabble a little bit about how men read women. And this is from um, asking different men, speaking to different men. Um, and this is what I've come up with. And then I'm going to speak about how women read men, because I think once we notice how people, how we, how each of the genders, you know, see each other, maybe we can make some changes because a lot of people think, especially women think, well, I don't need to make changes. I don't need to do anything different. And, and that's just not the case. Um, you are going to need to make changes if you're going to want to be with someone that you find desirable. All right. So here we go. How men read women. And if you go to my mentor.life forward slash Danielle DeVita, I actually have a, um, a blog on it on how um, the genders read each other. So you, if you're a person who needs to actually digest it through reading. So here we go. Men will, um, uh, will, will read women by their how they dress because men are visual so that's the first thing they're going to look at they're going to look at your body so are you physically um put together if not you need you should go and you know try to work out do some things to get healthy um we do have um the you know minister of wellness on the african diaspora he talks about all things wellness and how to get healthy right um, you know, men are going to look at how you're dressing. How do you carry yourself? How are the clothes that you're putting on? Is it saying that this is who you are on the inside? Because people will, um, you know, see that and they're going to have their own perceptions. If I am dressed like I'm going to the club, they may have a different view of who I am than if I'm dressing like I'm going to church or if I'm dressing like I'm going to work. They're going to have different looks. So the question is, which look do I want to present? Um, a good idea is, um, and how you carry yourself. A good example is if you've watched a movie back in the nineties, a thin line between love and hate. If you've noticed Martin Lawrence approached the women in the club different than they approached the Lynn Whitfield character. She was a rich woman dressed differently. He approached them differently. So men will approach you differently based on how you present yourself. Yeah, she was crazy once he got to know her but how she presented herself was different than how he was talking to the other people and the other women in the club, okay? So how you carry yourself, how you're dressing, all those things are gonna matter. Visual, men are visual, so this is what they see first. What you look like, your body type, how you're dressing, how you are carrying yourself. And carrying yourself is more than what you, you know, what attire you have on, but how are you carrying yourself to the point that, you know, do you hold your head down? Do you look insecure? Because this is how sometimes men can prey on those insecurities. When they see that you're insecure, they're going to look into that and they may use that to their advantage. I'm not saying all men do that, but I'm saying we live in a world that with this, this, this happens. Women do it to men. I'm going to get to women. Um, you know, th this depicts on the lifestyle that they're going to try to, you know, say that they have a man who is think like, let's say you are dressed like, you know, a girl, just a street girl, right? He's not going to put the same effort in the money and the cars he has. than if he would to a girl who looks like she's a Instagram model or some of those, or the girl who looks classy enough to be with men of means, right? He's going to present that he has means to this type of woman versus this woman where he takes you on a date. It's going to be different based on the type of woman you appear to be, right? Um, so men are going to look at these things. Men, are, then they're going to look into your personality and your attitude, not necessarily their personality for, you know, to see how great of a character you are. Sometimes they just look like, okay, is she not crazy? Right? So they're going to, after they see how good you look, that's when they find out if she's crazy or not, the woman's crazy, or they're going to find out like, this is a good fit or not. Is this a person that I can see as my wife, my girlfriend, or just my baby mama? So a lot of the things weigh in. I'll let a man, a man go and tell you more detail of the things they look into, but that's why visual matters. That's why you hear men are rating women because to them, vi visual appearance matters. Get yourself together, women. 
it's okay. I think all women are beautiful no matter what, but it doesn't mean that you need to not make improvements. You should still make improvements on on who you are. You don't you can make improvements that make you feel good. You don't have to put on all the makeup. You don't have to put get all of the work done. You don't have to do all of that. Just be presentable. Just be you. Now, let's move to how women see men. And I can tell you I'll know this best because of course I'm a woman. Women do look at a man. I'm just saying, they look at a man and what means he looks like he has. It could be based on when she sees him from the kind of car he's driving, from the clothes he's wearing, for whatever it is, um, she's gonna look at that. And actually, you know what, let me back up because I wanna go with the very first thing. They act, most women actually look at men for their swag. Another word for that is confidence. Swag is um, the kind of confidence you have along with your charisma, right? Um, so you have something about you, what they say in the French, this je ne sais quoi. It's something about you. They don't know what it is, but it's you have this smooth look about you and your attitude is, is, is um, uh, consistent with this attitude. Um, I'm sorry, your your attitude is consistent with this look that you have about you. So you're smooth in some way. You have a way with words, maybe. You have charisma, you have this look. And a lot of times that's why you hear about women going with the street dude or they're with this guy who looks like he has means because sometimes money can bring about this swag that they would not have had otherwise, all right? Um, it could be looks, it could be the fact that they have a, um, you know, they're athletic and that brings about this certain level of confidence about them that they are able to then take that confidence in, in their chari their charisma and put it together. Um, so that's really the only reason why she likes the bad boy because it's something about him that's exciting, his swag, something that moves her. So that is what women are going to look Another into. Another thing would be, um, getting with a woman I'm sorry, men who want women who ha look like they have means because they want to feel, women feel, um, and truth be told, some women are hypergamous, right? They Most women are. Um, how women act on it is differently. Some are gold diggers, some aren't. But the whole point is women want m men who can provide some level of security. So they do look for men for, do they have money? And they can tell either by the money that they're flooding, the car that they drive, how they're dressed, um, and the places in which they go. Um, the jobs in which they have. All those things can determine, well, can this man take care of me? And there's nothing wrong with wanting a man that does that. It's just when women let that be the number one priority that all things fail, everything else fails. If a man does not have money, a woman is gonna look for a man who has resources. And what I mean is he's in a position that he can still have power. Police officers, men, that's why you hear women talk about men in uniform. It's something about men in uniform. It's the power. Um, pastors, politicians, they want to be with people who look like they have some level of leadership because, of course, most people who want people with money is because money brings about power. But if you can have power without the money, um, that's what most people want. So women look for men who have, again, swag, the means, resources, like financial resources and places, and be able to get things and go about things and just go and get it, right? And then if they don't have the actual financial means, they have the resources through power, through a particular job. Um, and all that goes into potential as well. A man who looks like he's going to meet the potential of that power or that particular um um, means like um, a guy who's going to be drafted in the NFL or NBA or something like that. Basically, she sees the potential of the means that he will have, the resources he will have. Um, the next thing that women look into then is how are they, are they good um, emotionally or intimately? You know, they look at how can he take care of my emotional and other needs, right? Um, women do look at those things because women like to be satisfied just like men, all right? Um, and, you know, and that's why sometimes they overlook character because character's at the bottom. They're looking at all these other things that men have and character's going to be at the last. Is he a good guy? Yeah, 
all women want a good guy after all these other things. She wants him to be all these other things and then a good guy. So these are some of the things that um, people look at each other and not to say that all of them are right, but it is life. It's what's happening. It is, I don't think this is going to change. So the thing is, you're just going to have to figure out how to get with the program and how to get to the point of meeting those needs. So if you're a woman, you're going to have to change your appearance, um, not completely transform your appearance, but change your appearance in a way that's more appealing to the person that you want because different guys on different levels want different things. This is all I have for you. Thanks for tuning in to The Philip Scott Show. My name is Danielle DeVita. Take care.